And if you turn to the book of Psalms 34, verse 7, who can remember this? What this text says? Huh? The angel of the Lord will encamp it around his children, isn't it? I'll tell you when you are on your events, you sit, sit in your a car behind the steering wheel until you come back home. There's no guarantee. Even if you're good at your driving skills, if the opposite person doesn't come carefully, what will happen? It says, you know, the Lord says, I will go with you wherever you go. I will hold you. Since wherever you are, wherever your family, wherever your children, the angels will encamp it around your camp, your home, your working place, and uh, whatever you're doing. Since it's the Lord who has gone through, and he's sending his angels to care for you. Many times we, before we take up our travel, we always read one particular chapter. Which one is that? Psalm 100 and? 21, and what does the eighth verse say? The Lord will be with you as you go out and as you come in. And uh, here, the friend is willing to come with you. Come with me wherever. And the Lord will hold you in his hand. All that you have to do is you have to be. And you can think of the people the Lord was, uh, the Lord went with Daniel to the lion's den, isn't it? The Lord was with Daniel. I think uh, I will not get into the other examples. i just give you one example. Look at the Daniel and his friends. If the Lord wouldn't have gone with them to the fire of burning furnace to the lion's den, they would have been torn into pieces and burned. And think about it. And the third dimension that you go ahead says, this friend says, I will do everything. I will be with you all the days of your life. I will go with you wherever you go. And uh, the third dimension that I want you to is, all that I want you to be is be a blessing to. Be a blessing. Be a blessing. Please turn to the book of Genesis, chapter 3, verse, sorry, chapter 12, verse 3. It's an admonition given to Abraham. Genesis, chapter 12, verse 3. Here it says, I will bless the ones who bless you. I will curse the ones who curse you. And all the families should be blessed by you. This is all that I want you to be a blessing to others. And be compassionate, be kind. You know, there was a story that was told about the oh, one little boy, orphan boy. He had no good food, no good home, no good bed. One day, a good parents came and picked him up, gave him everything. Today, if you look at the track of our lives, many of us, we were picked up like that. Some sponsor, someone has given some help. Some pastor picked us up and put us in the, the boardings. And because of their little contributions, today we are blessed. They become a blessing. And some of you are sponsoring some children in India. And that's a blessing. And you are a blessing. The Lord says, be a blessing. I think we move on to the next one. He says, the fourth one, fear not, because I know what you have to. And I know you have to pass through this and things. And Isaiah 41, 10 words, it says, do not fear, for I am, for I am your, I am with you. Do not be afraid, for I am your God. I will Strengthen you. I will help you. I will give you victory through my victorious, righteous right hand. Then the, the 13th verse, it says, is the 
I, the Lord your God, will hold your right hand and give you victory, and I will help you. This is what this friend says, don't fear, and don't worry. And then, if you read, and uh, Exodus chapter 4, verse 12, when Moses said, I can't speak, and the Lord said, now you go, I will be with your mouth, isn't it? And I will teach you what to say. And if you read Psalms chapter 16, verse 7, it says, I bless the Lord who counsels me in the night and who teaches me and instructs my heart. And like Psalmist, the 8th verse, 16, 8, it says, I bless the, and I always keep the Lord before me. He's at my right hand, therefore I have nothing to fear. I have nothing to fear. And then when we go to the uh, book of Isaiah, chapter forty. But three, the second verse, it says, as you, when you pass through the waters, they will not overflow you. And when you pass through the fire, they will not burn you. And they will not consume you. There's nothing to fear. And then if you read the 16th verse, it says, it's our Lord is the Lord who can make the way in the sea, a path in the mighty waters. So why do you and I fear? I think I must conclude. And the last one here it says, all that I want you to be is a bl be a little light for the Lord. Be a little light for the, the Lord. I'm your friend. There can be thousands of candles in this room. All the candles will lie dead. Unless and until there's a, a candle with the a light. Only the candle with the light only can light the other candles. The Lord says, I want you to be like a little candle. And this is not uh, what I am saying. And you can read this one, chapter Isaiah chapter 42, verse 6. Isaiah chapter 42, verse 6. It says, I, the Lord, and my righteousness call you. Brother Richard, you can read. Huh? Isaiah 42, verse 6. It says, I, the Lord, God, call you in my righteousness. I have taken you by my hand. And what he did? He kept you and he kept me. Then what he says, I have given you as a, what is the word that is used? Covenant. A covenant. And then the next covenant to the people. And I light to the Gentiles. Gentiles, to the nations. All that what the Lord says, I want you to be a little light. A little light, because you and I are going to be judged according to the light that we have received. So therefore, dear, dear fellow believers, Dear friends of the Remnant Church, the Lord says, I will be with you all the days of your life. I will go with you wherever you go. Be a blessing. Says, there's nothing for you. Fear not. And be a little light. And if you do that, the Lord says, I will write my will for you. All of us, would like to love to have will, isn't it? Huh? We always look for the will from our parents, isn't it? And when you are in other places, we fight for it. But here the, the Lord Jesus says, you be my friend. I will write your, I will write my will for you. And this will is found in Revelation chapter 3, verse 12. And uh, with this we can conclude, I want all of you to read this particular text. Revelation chapter 3, verse 12. says, if you can endure, if you conquer, what is going to do? I will make you a pillar in the temple of my God. And you will not go out of it. Then what he says? I will write the name of my God. The name of the city of my 
God, the new Jerusalem. And that comes from my God out of heaven. And the last portion, what does it say? Whose name is going to write? I will write my new name on you. May it be our privilege to make Jesus as our friend. Be a friend of Jesus. You and I have nothing to fear. God will bless us. This is my prayer for each one of you. And each one of us, God bless us.